Regina Regis is home to the Picture Drone, a 90-year-old cinema on the verge of being closed down. In November 2009, we set out to highlight how this will impact the local community. Cinema staff and neighbouring businesses have given us their views on the current situation and how it will affect their trade. Um, my cats are just soulless. They're very soulless, they're very empty. They've got no soul or anything. Or should we say soulless? It was an old um, Victorian theatre that has been turned into a cinema back in 1953. So it's got it's the same sort of vibe as this, but this cinema in particular, because even though I work at a cinema, I come here on my day off, as you can see right now. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, definitely, it's it is it is such a great place, you know. Uh, multiplexes are just soulless. The cinema closed here, there was a cinema, they, they, if, they weren't, if it wasn't a cinema here, they would be forced to go over there. I mean, for a start, uh, the multiplex over there is more expensive than the cinema here. Then there's the travelling costs. Uh, all these things are expense, are an expense, especially for young people, which they don't want. Personally, I prefer something with a bit of character and something with a bit of attraction. Or, I, you know, I've been to the multiplex, multiplex in Chichester and it's very nice in many ways. Um, but it is, uh, shall we say, saltless. I first tried to get a job here about, it's been about three years. And I, I worked for a little bit, then I go away, then I work for a little bit, then I go away, and I've come back and I'm working for a little bit, and then in a couple of weeks I go away. But it all started about three years ago. I, I love it. I mean, it's, I mean, look at it. I mean, you've got such individual people. I mean, you've got wonderful George, who's a wrestler, who's just st studied his tongue for some unknown reason. You've got the legend, which is our trace, who is cinema lady. There's hundreds of children in this town that are still now adults, terrified of that lady. Daddy all of us is like Chris. So it's, all, it's very much a family atmosphere. I mean, we have a laughing joke. And we've got a beautiful screen in there. The seats are better, and it looks like a proper cinema. The thing about the um, city world things, they're all just boxes. They've got no soul or anything. So that's why I like it. I feel that the cinema has got a real part to play in the community because of that. Multiplexes don't have a sort of welcoming feel, they're very soulless, they're very empty. We had an issue of closure about a couple of months ago because uh, the company which the lease was in the name of actually was wound up, so my company had no legal status and there was a slight legal dispute um, which involved the cinema being closed for two days. That was sorted out and a temporary three month lease was granted. That comes to the end on the 19th of November. However, we've got an extension on another three months till the 19th of February. And further on from that, we're now talking about a long-term lease. So it has got far more positive than perhaps it was a few months back when it looked like the cinema would close for good. I'm fairly confident now, particularly from what I've just been told, that the cinema has a future, which is enormously encouraging. Working here has just been phenomenal. I've loved it here, and I've loved that my job. Yeah, I have loved it here. If it did close, I would be absolutely mortified and very, very difficult, but, you know, these things happen, but let's just hope, let's hope they don't. In mid-February 2010, the lease for the cinema is due to run out. However, a long-term agreement is currently being negotiated. The future of this cinema is looking positive, along with the regeneration of Bogner. But can independent cinema survive in the modern climate?